How'd you kill him? Hey everyone, my name is Mike and welcome back to The Evil Within. In the last part, we made our way through the forest, encountered quite a few what we suspect to be zombies while chasing the patient round that was in the ambulance with us, and we ended up jumping into the river. So here we are, you can see the little background of the pause menu there. We're in the river, so let's continue. So we still haven't actually found anyone to speak to who we know from like before this shit went down. Any of the other detectives or the doctor guy or the patient. They're just all like spread out at the moment and missing, even though we all crashed in the same ambulance. Actually, there was a guy who was not on the ambulance. So here we are now, we're on chapter three. Um, you can smash boxes, here we go. Let's smash this shit open. And, okay, chapter three, Claws of the Horde, here we go. Let's see what we can find in any of these boxes. There's a med kit there. Oh shit, yeah, as well, with the Fighting Chance DLC pack. That came with chapter three. So, can we look at the inventory? Do we get the thing? Oh, here we go. So, we've got a shotgun now. Let's put that in that slot. And we got some bolts. But we don't have a crossbow, I don't think. We've got a shotgun now. Here we go. Look. Yeah. We've also got the um, revolver still. So, let's carry on. Let's try and figure out where we are and maybe find some help. Is anyone on this boat? Why don't we get on the boat? Right, so it looks like this is the only way to go. Right, off this side. Right, on these tables. Let me smash this open. Where are we going? Well, we go, we've got some stairs here. But we can hear the um, zombies. There's a crow there. Some matches, nice. Right, what? Well, okay, we've got a pile of bodies. Let's burn these bodies then, I guess, to get past them. Sometimes like the, the camera is a bit zoomed in, and the ca and the the wide screen is a bit hard to see around you. Like a lot of games these days, like the are uh, increasing the field of view to make it like easier to play the game. But this, the field of view is so small, and the the character covers like half the screen. So let's see what we've got over here. Shit! Shit! <laughs> This guy, this guy's emotions are so weak. Shit. Ah, shit. Left the oven on. Shit. It's not even like, oh my god. <laughs> right, we got a um, door just opened on its own. Great. We've got some hanging bodies. One from the neck, one from the, the legs. Looks like he's got half his legs missing. So, seeing as someone opened the door for us, let's see. What? Are they closing? Oh, great. Can we even open them again? Yeah, we can. Okay, that's that's not even like a threat anymore then. <laughs> Let's smash this box. I don't even know if there's zombies in the area, so I should probably be quiet a bit, I guess. Right, we've got a axe on the wall here. Can we pick this up as a weapon? Yeah, you can. Nice. So before we go upstairs and check in and out, we're going to go look around downstairs. Right. I'm trying to get as many supplies as possible because I feel like we might need quite a lot of stuff to kill these zombies. Right, there's a dead guy on the ground there. Uh, he's got no head. Right, I've killed enemies before by taking their heads off, and they come back to life if you don't burn them. So I don't, I'm not sure if this guy can regenerate his head or what the hell goes on. What is this? We've got a grenade. Nice. That could be good. I'm not actually going to burn him because he looks like he's got no head. And I don't think he'll be getting up. I just really don't think he will. What is this? Oh. X. Disarming bombs. Stop the needle, X. Blue equals success, red equals failure. Stopping the needle in the blue zone will run one rotation, will disarm the trap. Disarm the trap will yield trap points. So you have to do it in one rotation, otherwise I guess it blows up and kills you. So let's do this. No. Okay, that didn't go well. <laughs> that didn't go well at all. So it sends out the room. <laughs> It's, um, we've got another grenade there. Actually, we should heal that. That's quite embarrassing that I failed the first, um, thing. Let's use a big health kit. How much heal? Oh, that heals you to full, pretty much. Maybe it just always heals you to full. I'm also going a bit blurry. What the hell? Oh, this isn't, this is ridiculous. I can't even climb out the window. So if you heal yourself with a lot of stuff, you, oh, you crippled. That's ridiculous. 
Can we open this? Nope. Whoa! Whoa! Alright, we're going that way. We're gonna go back inside, and we didn't actually check up, check out upstairs, did we? So let's go upstairs. Let's see what we got. I think this axe can take off enemies' heads, but it's got limited use, I think. Similar to like the weapons in The Last of Us. Alright, we got a trap ahead of us right there. Um, should we disarm that? I think we should leave that for the moment in case uh, we need to use it. Because it's been too quiet, there's bound to be some zombies appearing soon. We'll probably use that trap to um, take him out. What's that? Matches, nice. You always do it more matches. Wesley, over here. Oh God, no. Wesley, did he say? Who's Wesley? And who the hell just shouted? <laughs> Before we, it looks like he's beyond that door. But yeah, we're just trying to check out what's in this room first. So, where's the doors right here? Let's check this out. Who's there? Oh, it's a no, doctor guy. Shoot. I'm not one of them. I'm a doctor. Marcelo Jimenez. You were in the ambulance before it crashed, right? Yes, we're lucky to be alive. Have you seen anyone else? My patient, Leslie. I saw him running up ahead, but... But? Come this way. Quietly, mind you. Did he say Les Leslie? Him? The patient is a man? I thought it was a woman. The one that looks like Mary Cyrus, you know? So, Mastello Jimenez, he is our guide, it seems, our new companion. Have a look for yourself. Those things chased me all the way into the village. Me too. They're all over the place. So it seems like Marcelo Leslie went through that gate. Good lord. There are too many to shoot our way through. One of us could try to lure them away while the other gets the gate open. You're the one with the gun. If you say so. Shit. So, who's lowering then and who's not? Who's doing the thing? Right, there's a lever over there. Let's um, check out this box first. Empty, of course. What the fuck was that? Ah, damn them both thing. There is a crank on the terrace. You'll need to operate it if I'm to pass through. This? So is he the one doing the luring? Okay, so this opens up all the traps. Hopefully we can unlock this, so... They got spikes on them. <laughs> oh, shit. Alright, let's see. There he is. Let's turn the flashlight off. So let's, let's watch this guy sex, see what he does. I switched them. Yeah, it dropped. Over here, oh god! Here. Hey, over here! That's right, this way. That old guy's gonna get himself killed. So he's he's took them all inside that building. Okay, so we need to go while the the, the middle bits uh, a bit empty now. We can make our way. Don't kick the door. We can make our way towards the gate. I just want to check this back room. Maybe there's an exit this side. Because we couldn't... Uh, the, actually, we released the trap, didn't we? So we should be able to get back and go around the outside. Oh, there's a guy here. Shit. Um, axe time, I guess. Yeah, okay. Let's axe this guy in the face. Oh, shit. Okay, he's dead. And there's another one coming. Let's shoot this one. He's got a gun. He's down, he's down. Oh, that's, that's sweet. Okay, so we can pick his gun up now, right? Oh, he's got, he dropped a lot of bullets as well. So, he... They look like he had a sawn-off shotgun, but he gave me pistol ammo. Now, I'm going to use the bottle. Actually, sh is, there, is this any good, this flame thing? I wonder if you can take out zombies because you burn them. You know, put them on fire. There's a bomb there. So, uh, let's take out this bomb and hopefully not get ourselves killed this time. There's a bomb on the other side as well. Shit. Can we just sneak past these bombs, I wonder? I'm quite bad at the game. There we go. Yes. Oh, that's so stressful. <laughs> Alright, there's a bomb on the other side. Hopefully we won't be able to come back into this building anyway, so we should be able to 
Let's get the green goo. Just sneak past that one and hopefully leave it behind because I don't really want to be playing with them bombs too much. Even though you get materials for... I think you craft bow arrows with them. Nice, matches. Nah, matches are always good. Right, so wait, that bomb's there. Let's leave that bomb and maybe go outside the door. Alright, we've got a box over here. Let's check this out. It seems to be empty. Let's open the door. Right, I don't even know where we've just come out. Are we... Where are we? Alright, I think the gates... Uh, this trap best not open on us. We've locked it in, haven't we? So it shouldn't open. Well, we got past that anyway. Okay, so let's stick around the... Oh. Uh, who's that? Who's making that noise? There's a guy on the balcony up there. It looks like... Oh! The fuck? Has he got... He's, he's got a gun! Um, There's a guy in there. Sounds like he's chained up. Can we check this? Should we stay away from this or go check it out? What is this? Okay, just leave him to it. That looks like a big guy. I one of the big guys we counted in the start of the game. I'm gonna go upstairs first before we go at that back door. What have we got here? We've got some matches. We're actually full on matches now. You can only carry five at a time. And you can also burn that haystack. Why would you want to burn a haystack though? I don't get it. Maybe it's like a trap type thing. If you if you got zombies chasing you, if you burn the haystack and they run into it. I guess you could use it like that. So we oh, we've got a bear trap right here. Let's disarm that. Okay, so we've got some parts from that's good. And now Got a trap on the wall again there. Um, I guess we should take that out, right? Let's do this. That's so scary to do that. Because if you lose, fuck that up, you can lose so much health. I don't even know where I'm going. I'm just going to go up here and see. Maybe we can get a better view of the area from up here. And what are these statues? I've seen them before. Can we smash it? Oh shit, you can smash it. Oh, there's a key inside. Nice. And there's some goo here. Oh, that's wrong button. Some goo there. That's good. We've got quite a lot of goo now, so we should, once we get back to where in that world where we can upgrade ourselves, if we find a, like, a broken mirror, we should be able to upgrade quite a few things. Alright, so we're back down off this ladder again. We're going to check out a few things. See what we've got. Maybe we can go through the build. Maybe this building transitions to the building with the guy with the gun on the balcony, hopefully. I'm not sure. Oh, nice. A uh, syringe. Oh, shit. We're full. And what is this? This is pistol ammo. Where is the pistol? There it is. So we, we've got a shotgun, haven't we, and a pistol. And what is this one? That's matches. There's loads of matches we're not picking up. Because we're actually half full. Okay, where's this taking us to? Okay, this is back outside again. Um, I think there was a back door to the barn. So I'm going to go back downstairs and go for the back door. Right, so if that guy stays where he is, there's a door over here, I noticed, and there's also a bomb there. So let's disarm the bomb. Okay. Now, what have we got out here? Right, we've got some bodies on the ground there, you can see. What's on the other side? Oh, there's a chest. What's this? There's also a bear trap right there. So, what are these like treasure chests? Do we get like loads of good loot from inside? Opening chest. Open a chest all the way to reveal its contents. If the chest is trapped, opening it only part way will disarm the trap. Opening it only part way will disarm the trap. Oh, there's a, there's a, there's a bomb in there then. Opening it part way will disarm the trap? Okay. That was a bit weird. New item. Explosive bolt. An explosive warhead for the agony crossbow, which will detonate when enemies approach. It can be placed on things like floors on the Ola. So it's a sticky bomb. Grenade, and we should get the parts on the thing. Nice. Well, that wasn't grenade, it was shotgun shells. Excuse me. 
So can we reload this? Mm, it's only got a double barrel in it. So that guy is having a hard time in there. <laughs> screaming like crazy. Right, so... Got quite a few pistol bullets right here. And these guys, can we sneak up to these and burn them before they get up? So definitely, oh this guy's getting up on the other side. So we took one of them out. Right. I don't think you even need to get headshots in this, it's just like... Make sure you down them. You can shoot them in the chest a few times and they fall down. And that way you can burn them. And also, shoot them in the head isn't always like an explosive headshot kill. It's Sometimes it just, it just take the bullet to the face and carry on walking at you. So I don't think it really matters if you aim for the heads or not. Now this guy should be in this building on this balcony. Judging from when we last seen him. Right, we gotta pick the bottle up I guess. May as well have something in our hand. Oh fuck, what was that? Why did that smash? Is there anyone in there? There's a guy in the window, I mean up top. Can we snipe him? Look at the accuracy, it wobbles, I don't think we'll make that shot. What's the lever do? Let's pull the lever. Whoa, shit. Okay, that's a weird trap. Do it again. Nice! <laughs> that's fucking cool! So I think we still need to, need to burn this guy. Can we take the uh, bolts? So we've still got, we've got two matches now. If we make our way back to the barn at any point, we can pick up the map. Oh, there's a guy coming in. There's two guys coming in. Okay, shotgun time. Let's burn these two. If they're, if they're close together as well, you can burn them together. Which is, uh, is what I just did right there. So that's pretty good. Sounds like we still got some. Yeah, there's one over there now. Let's um, can we use the trap again on this one? Yeah, it looks like we can. Let's make it get a bit closer first. Get that. It, it happens down the stairs, doesn't it? That's not gonna. I uh, just missed it. All right, she she fell down. Okay. I'm thinking maybe we should fall back to the barn and get the matches again. So what have we got here? Got a box. Is this a weapon inside here? Oh nice, we got a shotgun. Pump action shotgun. Okay. And let's disarm this trap. Which side did you try to disarm on? This side I guess, isn't it? Isn't it this side? Yep. I mean we could use that trap to um, kill a zombie if we lure it through and crouch underneath it. But, um, I'm alright with just leaving it the way it is. What was that export then? Right, I'm gonna try and use this on an enemy, see if you can burn them. Right, there's a body on the ground over there. Have we got any matches left? I don't think we have, have we? Let me see if I can burn him. No. Oh shit. I just placed it on him. That should, that should definitely be able to be used that to burn him. Oh, we got a match. I actually got three matches there. That's good. Is that guy going to get up? <laughs> I don't know. What's in the corner around? Just ban him. That's may as well just ban him. Because if we um, have to fall back to the barn at any time, we can restock the matches. And we can only carry five at a time. Oh, what's this? Crossbow. Agony crossbow. This collapsible crossbow has a strong bowstring, which appears capable of launching heavy projectiles. Nice. So we've got loads of bolts, haven't we? So we can use the crossbow now. So, oh shit. So we can create bolts where, uh, while Agony is selected. The trap parts can be used to make more of any Agony bolt you possess. Nice. So let's uh, put that in the down button on D-pad. So, we press make bolt. Change bolts. Okay, on the right you can see you can change the bolt. So what are the bolts? Explosive, incendiary and poison. We've already got... Let's make another incendiary one then. How many parts does that take? It takes five. We've got twenty. Okay, so there's a door leading out this side. Now maybe... Oh, there's bolts you can pick up. Harpoon bolts. 
Nice. So is the guy that was shooting us from before, is he on this about Yeah, there he is. Let's, let's still kill this guy. And let's ban him. Just to make sure. I want to know if this... I think you can ban enemies with this torch. I should have tried it on him, really. So... Is there any zombies down here? Sounds like there might be. I definitely hear some. Right, there's a guy there. I'm going to try using this torch on him. Nice, it bans them. That's the, that's the best weapon then. That's an awesome weapon. So he's banned, isn't he? Yeah, he's gone. Nice. So we should definitely be using them. Alright, this is the gate we're looking for, right? There we go, we can use it here. Great. There's got to be something that'll get through this. Maybe a chainsaw or something. <laughs> um, I didn't see any chainsaws where we came from. The big guys have the chainsaws, don't we? We've seen the chainsaw guy in the start. Ah, shit, what about the guy in the barn? There's a guy behind the doors in the barn, isn't there? He's like, he sounds like a big guy, so they normally have chainsaws. Maybe we can get one from him? Let's load up a weapon first before we get him. I mean, go in there to look, see if he's there. Can we actually open this? Can we get in from above or anything like that? Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Blow up! Is he dead? How'd you kill him? Oh god, the zombie's there. Shit. How'd you kill the guy? I'm just gonna quickly um, put a grenade on one of the slots. There we go. What the fuck? Get up! Move! What are you doing? What am I doing? Fucking hell. My guy was taking a breather when there's a guy with a chainsaw behind him. This guy's got no stamina. He's awful. Let's kind of let's maybe try and use this trap on him. Oh fuck, that's too late. That's too late for sure. I'm stuck now. I'm dead. I don't believe it. The game sent us all the way back before we even done any of this shit. So I think the plan here, right, is gonna be I think this weapon, right, you can put down the sticky bombs. If you shoot it at the floor, it stays there until the enemy walks over it, so I'm gonna do that first. And then um we'll unput let him out and then run away. <laughs> so let's put this down like there. So let's get him out. Here he comes. So you should run across that, right? Or is he just gonna stand there like a dick? So that hit him, right? Can we change shoulders? No, oh, that's not a button. Right, he's probably gonna climb up the ladder. I can't even see where he, yeah, oh god, there's a few of them climbing up the ladder. <laughs> Throw a bomb there, a grenade. I don't know how many we killed right there. Maybe killed quite a few. I don't know how you kill this guy. Who's right there behind the things? Fucking run! Oh no, this isn't good, this isn't good. <laughs> Shit! What do we do? I don't even know why I just shot out of that. That's an incendiary one. No, it's not. It's not. That wasn't Sandy, was it? Right, he's on our ass. So let's get him to chase us for a bit. Let's get a bit of distance. We've got no more grenades left either. Alright. What the fuck do you do here? I guess we could take him into a trap. I don't think there's any traps up, though. Gotta take this guy down fast. No shit. Oh, what was that behind us? Something flashed? Where is he? Did you jump out the window? There he is.
Oh, nice, he's dead. I think he's dead. Let's bit. Okay, this guy doesn't require you to ban him. Alright, here's the hidden guy. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? I better hold it. So the teeth of the old is old, well worn chainsaw are caked with all sorts of things. Yes. Take the goo, just stick our hands in it and put it in the jar, why not? So we, we're quite low on ammo now. <laughs> That was insane, the amount of bullets he takes to kill. Okay guys, we've done quite a lot there in taking on that chainsaw guy, but even though we haven't actually travelled too far, this, this area is so compact with things to collect and do and kill and survive. So we're going to end it there, so see you guys next time. Bye!